has been happening in her life. A few weeks ago, she was baptized, and she's going to share her story tonight. And I'm so excited. Uh, it's a really interesting story how she came to the church. And so, Zaria, start off and just introduce yourself tonight and tell us who you are. Um, hi, I'm Zaria. I'm 16, and I'm a part of Momentum. Excellent, excellent. What grade are you in, Zaria? Uh, I'm a junior now in high school. Excellent. Okay. And so how long have you and your family been coming to CWC and how did that take place? Um, it's about two years. Two, yeah. Um, it's actually crazy. Um, my mom one day literally just randomly said, hey, I want to go to church. <laughs> so uh, growing up in a family that didn't really go to church um, every Sunday or um, even on holidays, we didn't really go to church. And so she randomly said, hey, let's go to church. It was crazy. So um, that plays a big role in my testimony as well. Yeah. Well, Zaria, I know that you have shared it with me, uh, some of your testimony, but why don't you just begin to share with the church tonight how over the past few months, God has begun to do an amazing work in your life. Okay. Um, let's see where I start. Um, I'm going to start at the beginning of my sophomore year. Um, starting sophomore year, I was really depressed. Um, I had a close-knit circle of friends. It was me and, like, three other girls. These are the only people that I have been hanging out with since, like, elementary school, okay? And so, um, starting off sophomore year, I was really depressed. Um, and to be honest with you, I didn't believe in anything. Like, I know people are like, what? <laughs> I'm being serious. Like, I didn't believe in God. I didn't believe in sin. I didn't believe in any of that. And the idea of somebody coming to redeem any of it was just too far-fetched for me for some reason. And so um, starting off sophomore year, I was really depressed and I was really upset. And I think part of me was almost frustrated with myself and the decisions that I had made that if anybody tried to forgive me, if anything could forgive me, I would be too angry at myself to even let it happen, you know? And so, um, I had already been coming to Momentum, but I, I know I told Karen and Pastor Hancock this too. Um, when I came to Momentum for the first time, I immediately saw a family that I thought I just couldn't be a part of. I saw um, people who were, you know, loved and were cared for and setting a good example and being good leaders in their school. And I was like, wow, there's just no room in there for me at all. And um, that really like put a big wall between me and church for a long time. And you know, ask my mom anytime. She had to drag me here, drag me. Like it was a battle. And um, I was telling, I was telling the Hancocks too. I would come here and I would sit in one of these back rows. I wouldn't talk to anybody. And I'd feel the Holy Spirit. And I would, oh my God. I would deny it. I would deny it every single time. I'd be like, no, it's just the beat of that song. It was just touching. <laughs> I, I completely deny it every single time I sat here. And then after going to Now Camp, can I just say, Now Camp is the best place on earth. <laughs> now Camp is the closest you will get to heaven on earth. And like, if you ask anybody from Momentum, they're gonna agree with me. Um, I had bonded so much with Bella, hearing Bella's story, uh, talking to Haley, Bliss, Ashton, shout out to all y'all, I love you. <laughs> um, but bonding with them and then really seeing the Holy Spirit move through people's lives. And like, when you're on the outside looking in, you're like, oh, yeah. Christianity, okay. But like when you're really submerged in that atmosphere, when you're around things like that, like I just really felt the power of the Holy Spirit and I felt the the okay from God like in his area. Stop. <laughs> you're fine. I, I forgive you. It's over. You can move on, you know? And it, it really changed my life. Like one week changed my life completely and <laughs> One week really changed my life, and when I came back, I, complete turnaround. I, I I hardly talk to that small close knit of friends anymore. Um, 
and as much as I can, as, as much as I can, you know, I'm new to Christianity, I'm new to this, and I'm going to fall off here and there, everybody does, but as much as I can, I try to pray, I try to read the Bible, and I try to build that connection with God, and I really see the importance of it all now, so. motivation in your life. Can you tell us about that? How has prayer been a a force in your life and how has that allowed you just to be an influence to your peers and your school and at Momentum? Um, can I just say right now, you can come to the altar with a problem and it's going to be gone when you walk away. Like that's my biggest love about prayer. When I come and I give everything to Jesus and I'm like, okay, listen, God, I can't do this. I can't. I can't do any of this on my own. And for some reason, like, I guess because we're teenagers, we, like, say, oh, you know, I'm fine. No, I can do it. I'm stressed out. I'm okay. Like, no, you're not okay. You're not. <laughs> you know, you had, you had a mental breakdown, okay? And so coming to pray and just building that connection just slowly and Something about that, like that's what really draws me in. Is like, wow, I'm talking to the Creator of the universe. <laughs> it's amazing, and just building that relationship, leaving all of your problems there, just leaving everything there, and just walking away with like a sense of like, okay, I can do this because I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Is it to have that type of faith and that type of confidence, knowing that at one point in her life she felt as if there wasn't anything, there was no faith, there was no beliefs in anything, and now we see such great passion, we see such great enthusiasm and love for God, and I think that's amazing. Zaria, before you go, tell um, maybe an adult or even a student tonight that maybe where you were maybe a year ago, just encourage them. Um, I want to first speak directly to my mind. I was thinking about that when I was sitting down. If there is any one of you here who doesn't know who you are, who thinks that nobody loves me, who thinks that the person I was yesterday can't be the same person that Jesus can accept me today, you're wrong. Right off the bat, you're wrong. Those, those same mindsets is what kept me from going into that room every, every Wednesday. Those same ideas and thoughts that obviously aren't from God kept me from being here, kept me from having a relationship with Him. There's nothing you can do that will ever turn away His love for you. Nothing. a few weeks ago and that is just an amazing step and we're so excited for what's going to uh, continue to take place in your lives and so tonight you've, you've heard many stories